first vlog of 2017. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have the best lighting right now. I'm a little bit shady. You can see my face. I want to make a vlog today to get back in the rhythm of it, but also because I want to share some stuff. So first of all, I guess I'll say that number one, this camera here is really annoying. I have to move this because I look at myself too much. <laughs> ah, fucking narcissistic, right? Okay, first thing I want to say. I have come up with some New Year's resolutions and things I want to focus on this year. First thing, I am not going to drink for the first six months recreationally. What I mean by that is I'm not going to come home and relax and have a drink. Could even be one beer, a glass of wine, etc. I want to cut that out for the first six months of this year and see and reevaluate, see how I do. Um, reason being, number one, it's just not healthy in terms of calories. Number two, I don't like the dependency as much of needing that to relax. And number three, I just noticed that it's something where I think it's kind of hindering my success in many ways. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes and see how long I keep that. I also am okay with going to a party with a bunch of friends and drinking. Um, I'm not gonna try and get like super blackout drunk. But, um, you know, I'm okay having, you know, a few drinks with friends, but I'm going to really minimize that to really only outings where it's brought up, like I'm not going to seek it out. So that's number one, and probably one of the bigger resolutions I think of this year. Um, the second is, in terms of my business, I want to finally begin to put pressure on myself again in terms of my comfort zone and what I consider to be... You know, I'm very comfortable with certain things like blogging, podcasting, getting way more comfortable with YouTube, but creating products, creating digital products, I'm not yet fully comfortable with. I'm okay creating ebooks and that kind of stuff, but I'm not okay yet, I think, masterfully creating online courses. <clears throat> so this year, I'm going to be creating more online courses. I have my goal the end of January, February, March. I'm going to have I think, I believe, I have to look at my calendar. I think it's the end of either February or March is where I've scheduled my first online course launch. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time creating the content for that course. I'm gonna share how that's doing with you guys. Um, my eBooks, I've created four eBooks in 2016. I think I'm gonna to aim to pump out maybe two more eBooks this year, but it's not in any way going to be my primary focus. My primary focus is going to be on creating educational products and training products. I want to create more passive income. You know, I don't want to run a social media agency of any kind. I really want to be able to create more products and have those products actually help people. In terms of my personal life, I'm going to continue to work on emotional intelligence and I'm going to continue to work on my social skills. I want to be able to feel like I know exactly what to do in every single social situation and to, to be the best version of myself when it comes to social interaction. Uh, a lot of the things I learn are in my head and I need to just get out of my head, get into the present moment, be in the moment and sort of relax. You know, not be so uptight, to be more emotional, to be less logical. That's really, again, what I am continuing to focus on in 2017. And this was my main New Year's resolution in 2016, and I've had some great results with that. Uh, I also want to do way more public speaking. I want to do more putting my voice out there and really get comfortable with talking and not go back into like the automatic talking. You know, I have certain automatic habits when it comes to talking on camera or talking to a room, things I'll say that I'm used to saying, I wanna get out of that and just be 100% transparent in front of this camera, 100% myself when I'm in the room talking or I'm speaking to this person, be just literally not go to any kind of automatic responses. I don't like that. I wanna be authentic, real, and in the moment. That's my goal in terms of speaking and writing. I've come to sort of understand myself a lot more and the value I think that I can bring to society, to other people, etc. And that comes in the form of writing 
and speaking and learning and teaching. That is my bread and butter. Like that's what I've been doing my entire life. And I've sort of realized this year that that's what I also really enjoy doing is I like talking about revelations I've had or things I've discovered or insights I've had and having also a two-way communication where I'm learning from people and they're learning from me as we work to understand this crazy wacky world um, and sort of work to grow spiritually. You know, I talked about <clears throat> in other videos about spiritual development or self-development or personal development, however you want to say it. And up until this year, I would prioritize metrics. You know, I would prioritize this amount of money that I made or this amount of website visitors that I had or whatever the metric is. I would make that my key metric and I would think that if I hit this metric, I would be really happy. But it doesn't work that way. You know, I've sort of learned that rather than putting these metrics at the forefront of what I want in life, because, I mean, let's be honest here, there are people who are making way more money than me, there are people who are way more successful than me, way more popular than me, etc. It doesn't matter, like, I'm always gonna lose the comparison game if I try that. But there are no one, there are no other people out there who are me. And the best, most happiest I've been this year is when I felt like I have been growing as a person. So I'm going to put self-development at the forefront of everything that I do. Whether I'm trying to launch a business, I'm trying to make more money in my business, etc. The thing I am focusing on is my self-development. If I'm trying something out new, it's because I want to grow personally. I want to grow my skills, I want to become more wise, etc. I want to learn how to be more and more my authentic self. That's something that took me, it's taken me a while to realize that, but that is something I really want to continue in 2017 and really getting just an in-depth feel like I know who I am. I think the final thing I want to share uh, with this like vlog update is I have come to understand that what you do and how you think is more aligned with who you are than, oh sorry, fuck, I fucked that up. <laughs> what you, what you, blah. what you do and how you feel is more aligned with how, with who you are than, than how you think. Ah, oh, geez, that was hard to say. Um, basically what I mean is, I've always, my entire life, spent a lot of time thinking. I've spent a lot of time thinking thoughts and rationalizing and having insights and all these things, and I've thought that, that makes up who I am, but I don't actually think it does. Really what makes up who I am are the actions that I am taking. It's who I am being. Not just who I'm thinking I am or the mental image I have of myself. It is what I am actually doing in the world and also how I feel about that. The emotions that I'm having on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a minute by minute basis make up who I am and the quality of my life. I could have you know shitty things happening my business could be burning, you know, going down, the ship is going down, or things could not be going well. But if I feel good, you know, I look back on this week, I'm like, ah, oh, it's actually a pretty good week. <laughs> it's a little bit delusional, but uh, it's true. You know, you, you sort of attach value to certain things in your life, and the emotions that you feel around those things is actually the quality of your life. It is not how things are going in your life, it's how you feel about how things are going. And similarly, what you're doing, I think, tends to play much more into your identity than what you're thinking. So I could think, yeah, I'm a very confident person, or yeah, I'm very capable at such and such, but if I'm not doing things that align my identity with that, you know, if I'm not, say, if I think I'm good at YouTube, and I'm not consistently putting out YouTube videos that people say are good or that are getting lots of views or that I feel good about, it doesn't mean that my identity usually is not played into that. 
My identity is not as well tied to that. If I just think I'm good at YouTube, I don't feel that with the same level of conviction if I'm actually taking steps and doing things that sort of underlie that belief. Another way to think about that is I could think that, yeah, my identity is as an athletic guy or as a hustler or as whatever, but unless I'm actually doing things to back that up, deep down, I don't feel that way. You know, I can say it until I'm blue in the face or I can think it until I'm blue in the face, but unless I'm actually pushing myself to my limits and unless I'm actually executing on my exercise goals, I don't really feel that identity in a very visceral sense of the word and I don't have that same level of confidence. It's a little bit delusional. I think a lot of smart people do this too. We convince ourselves of the image that we have and not tying that image to our actual behavior. We're actually just tying it into how we rationalize our behavior or how we rationalize why we are that type of image. A lot of people, you know, I've noticed in my life, you might think, say, that you're a good person. Well, what do your actions say? Are your actions in line with that which what a good person would do? Or are your actions actually what a good person would not do? You can obviously rationalize, oh yeah, I mean, I know I did that, but X, Y, and Z. Or like, oh yeah, I know this, but X, Y, and Z. It all comes down to your actions when you're thinking about your actual identity and how your, your body and sort of your subconscious registers that identity. Like you can know you're bullshitting yourself or you can know you're bullshitting the world, but if your actions are in line and you really feel that way, it's hard to, to feel like you're bullshitting people because it's real, you know, it is how it is. Um, so yeah, that, that's something that I, I realized recently that I wanted to sort of share with this camera and something that I wanted to remember because I do fall into that trap so much. You know, smart people, not saying that I'm necessarily smart, you know, but um, people who are prone to, let's just say, logic or are prone to thinking a lot tend to get wrapped up in that trap of rationalizing way too much and not relying more on our actions and our feelings in order to um, set that rigid identity of who we are.